What's good, people? Vlog episode 24. Here we go. This is me leaving Doha and heading over to Dubai. The wheel on my suitcase was on its very, very last legs. I was hoping it was going to make it through this whole tour. Landed into Dubai, straight to Club Blue. Touchdown in Dubai. I arrived sort of late-ish last night, so I uh, went pretty much straight out. Went to Blue, the club, to go and see the boys. Scotty B, one of my favorite DJs. Don Brian, bumped into Mocky, SJ, who runs the night. The promoters from Doha that I just came from, they were in there, shout out D and Moose. It was nice, had a little chill, a couple of drinks, and then back home, nothing crazy. And then this morning I've been in the gym again, I must be bored, but um, yeah, I've got some spare time and I just feel like why not make, just make some healthy choices. I think that's my food. Hello. Hello you in the lobby, yeah? That's my food. BRB. A few moments later. Let's have a little look. Jeez. Looks banging. Anyway, I'm just uh, eating. Been to the gym. Gonna do some editing. Then I'm gonna go meet my friend Reese later. For a little sunset walk, apparently. I don't know what's what's happening. I'm doing a lot of uh, exercise, but my friend Reese is on a health kick, so he's not drinking or anything, and neither am I really. So perfect. Yeah, just gonna have a chilled one tonight. So yeah, chill we did. Just went for a nice walk. Had a little look around the marina. Walked past the new Ushuaia, which looked pretty mega. And then just caught sunset, it was nice. Right, so day two in Dubai. Took myself to the gym, did some work, and now I'm doing something I've never done in Dubai before. Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna take the metro, which normally I just get Kareem taxis around. But yeah, I just, it's one straight road. I thought I'd try something a little bit different. So I'm taking the metro today. Hopefully it's pretty straightforward. And I'm going down to the mall where the burgers is and everything. And then I'm gonna go and meet the boys later for dinner. So yeah, an interesting one. Let's see how we get on with this. I reckon it's going to be quicker than driving and it's definitely going to be cheaper than driving and and yeah probably just give me a different view of Dubai on the way there so we'll see how we get on so yeah caught the metro from downtown Dubai into the center Disgustan. okay so <clears throat> Everything apart from the price was absolutely <laughs> horrendous. <laughs> I was skipping along with joy about 20 minutes ago. Ah, oh, it's going to be nice. I'll see a different view of the city. That was sheer hell. Look at this. Anyway, I had a little look around the mall and then headed over to meet my friends at Miss Lily's. flavors next day picked up my laundry and I was heading over to meet some of the other boys at Top Golf check the skills nah 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 Uh, today's the day, the hectic one. I've had a couple of days to chill, catch up with friends, but it's midday now. 
on Thursday. I'm heading to meet my boy and then we're going to go for some lunch and then I'm going to O Beach. I'm playing 4 till 5.30. There's going to be a car outside. This is the, this is how it's supposed to happen. I'm playing 4 till 5.30. There's going to be a car outside on the dot and then I'm going to drive straight to the airport. I'm not going to get stuck in traffic and I'm going to get there with about 90 minutes to spare and then I'm going to fly to Bahrain. I'm not going to have any issues at immigration. I'm just going to get straight in a car, straight from the airport to the club. I'm going to play my set, check into my hotel. I'm going to wake up on time at 7.30 a.m. the next day and I'm going to get three flights with two changes to Berlin. I'm going to land at 10 p.m. and I'm going to go straight through immigration, no dramas, and I'm going to go straight to the club in Berlin. I'm going to play there, and then I'm going to wake up and I'm going to fly to Manchester, get in my car, no delays, no dramas, drive straight from Manchester to Liverpool, play at YB Island, and then I'm going to go straight from there home, back in bed for 1.30 a.m. Sunday morning. Let's see. So yeah, embarked on the mad thing, headed over to O Beach. The guys have done a great job there, shout out Charlesy and the team. It's wicked in there. <laughs> nice to see the famous orange cups in Dubai. Anyway, played my set and then headed straight over to the airport. This is where things get pretty hectic. My flight was at 8 p.m. and in the end my sat nav was saying we were going to get there at 7.36. So as you can imagine I was pretty stressed by all of this. But luckily the guy in the blue suit came to the rescue. I appreciate you man. This is definitely a new world record for me to actually make a flight. Incredible. It took me 11 minutes from the door of my taxi to the door of the plane. So, yeah, a big sigh of relief and it was over to Bahrain. Wow, that was the most hectic thing that's ever happened. <sighs> Jesus, got to the airport 24 minutes before the flight departed, escorted by some lovely people in blue suits. I don't know who they were, but they literally took me through the crew entrance into security, skipped me past the immigration queue, and then we just sprinted, even he sprinted. <laughs> he was like, sir, we actually have to run. I was like, okay, <laughs> so sprinting through the airport. Made it, and uh, yeah, now I've just landed 50 minutes before my set time. So I've just checked into the hotel. I've got 15 minutes to have a shower and then we need to get in the car to the club. So that has not been relaxing at all. I didn't even tell the promoter. I'm gonna tell him when I get there, but I didn't want to panic him, so I didn't tell him. So thank God it all worked out. Jesus. Right, okay, shower and then club time. Anyway, didn't have long, headed over to the club in Bahrain and they had a Halloween special. It was very lit. Shout out JD and the crew in there. It was wicked. Oh, right, it's 8am. I am just... To be honest, I'm just so happy to be in Bahrain. It doesn't matter that I'm tired. Wow. When I reflect on how lucky that was yesterday. Jesus. Would have been stressful because now I've got a day full of flying to get to Berlin. Bahrain to Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi to Amsterdam. Amsterdam to Berlin. Yeah, I land at about 10, 10.30 p.m. So 
long day. But yeah, I love Berlin, so at least it'll be worth it. Let's <laughs> get going. I'm starving. Over to Bahrain Airport and I had to fly Bahrain to Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Berlin. What a day, but finally made it. Jeez, what a day. Just got to Berlin. I'm feeling more awake than I should do, actually. But yeah, to be honest, I had 90 minutes between each flight and I was thinking, oh, that's a little bit close for comfort, but it actually just worked perfectly. Everything was flawless. Flights left on time, landed on time. Some of them even landed early. So yeah, I was really lucky there. Smashed it. So in Berlin, it's about half 11. Um, I'm starting at half one, so not really got time to sleep. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through some music and then head down to the club at about 12.45. And then yeah, one more show in Liverpool, YB Island, I'm actually really excited for. I'm gonna be exhausted, but I know it's going to be dope, so that'll be good. And then, yeah, the final journey home straight after that. I'm playing 9.30 till 11 p.m. tomorrow night, so it's not the absolute worst thing in the world. Although I am cutting it pretty fine. My flight lands at 7 p.m. into Manchester, so fingers crossed for no delays. But, yeah, straight from there to the show, straight on, basically. And then I'll play 9.30 till 11, and then 11, back to Leeds. Probably get home about 1 a.m., and then that's me done for in terms of gigs for about 11 days and then i'm going on a tour which i'm going to announce on monday thanks for watching guys i'll see you next week